you will not find a dipstick no matter how hard you look. What is going on today guys? My name's Alex, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about this new ZF 8-speed transmission in obviously my Ram 1500 and where you can find the dipstick and how you can measure the fluid level in your transmission because as you'll see later in the video, it's a little bit harder than what you might think. So first thing we'll do is we will pop the old hood and uh, let's go find the dipstick. All right, we're up under the hood here and you will not find a dipstick no matter how hard you look because there is no dipstick for the new ZF 8-speed transmission on these trucks and for any vehicle with the ZF 8-speed in them. So the ZF 8-speed is a sealed unit, meaning that in this case, there's no dipstick. Um, but that doesn't mean you can't check the level of the transmission. Now, before we jump into how to check the level, um, I just want to talk briefly about why maybe ZF um, chose not to put a dipstick um, with their transmission. And they call the transmission a sealed unit. Now, that might be a little deceptive because you can indeed service this transmission and then there is a filter in it that you can uh, change or replace. Um, so it's not like 100% a sealed unit and once it's junk, it's junk. You can service it, but um, my thinking why they chose to do it this way is because um, the number one reason why transmissions, um, internal components, bearings, the number one reason why they fail is contamination. And what I mean by that is dirt, debris, water, um, and just contaminants in general. And those are the number one reason why stuff like that fails. So my thinking is they are trying to eliminate as much contamination as possible. And when you're checking your transmission fluid and you pull the dipstick out and you wipe it down with a, you know, dirty old rag and you put the dipstick back in and you bring it back out, wipe it down again, put it on <clears throat> your hood here and there's dust, dirt, debris, those small contaminants can get into the very fine components of an automatic transmission and not necessarily destroy it, but it'll definitely shorten its life. So that's my thinking why ZF is trying to keep this unit sealed and just to extend its life um, as far as it can go. However, that doesn't necessarily make it easier on um, <laughs> the end consumer. As you can see, there is no quick and easy way to test or to measure your transmission fluid. You gotta get underneath the truck because there is a plug down there on the passenger side that you can pull. So you gotta crawl underneath your truck and you gotta pull that plug. And there is a very oddly specific manner to check your transmission fluid. So um, we'll jump out of the truck and I'll show you where that is. Okay, so we're up and under this transmission here. And this is indeed the transmission pan here. Um, your filter is actually housed in here as well. And now if hopefully you guys can see this right here is the eight mil um, plug, which you want to remove to check your transmission level. Now, it's not as simple as you might think. Uh, ZF engineers <laughs> were, I don't know if they're just playing with us, but there's a very complex way to check the fluid level properly. Now, if you're not too, too concerned about following the complete correct protocol, what I would do if you are concerned about your transmission level on this ZF eight speed, is to make sure the truck is on a level ground first and foremost. Um, get the temperature of the transmission fluid up between 30 and 50 um, degrees Celsius. I think that's like 88 to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and the best way to do that, there should be um, an option on the dash inside your truck. You can just scroll through um, and then bang, there's your transmission temp. So Mine is 67 degrees Celsius, so it is too hot technically uh, to check the fluid level because the fluid, as it gets hot, it'll expand. So it'll actually pour out of um, that drain plug. And we don't want that because it's too hot. So, well, and it makes sense because I was just driving. Um, so you kind of want it in that specific golden temperature range. Uh, because if I did take that plug out right now, um, some oil would come out and then I'll put it back in and technically my level would be too low, if that makes sense. So when you're on the level ground, your, your fluid level is the right temperature, you can pull that plug and you can see if um, you have the correct level. Now, if fluid runs out, apparently there's too much. If no fluid runs out at all, there's not enough. You just want a tiny little dribble of transmission fluid coming out just to make sure you're just even with the bottom of the plug hole 
and you should be good to go. With that being said, I will link a video, um, I forget the gentleman's name, but he does an, an excellent job explaining the actual full procedure that ZF has outlined uh, to, to check the transmission fluid. It's like an 18 minute video. It, it's actually kind of crazy how long this procedure is. Um, so I'll link that video down below if you guys want to do the step-by-step, 100% correct way um, checking your transmission fluid. <laughs> and uh, when, you, when you watch that video, you'll think how easy it would be just to have a dipstick just to check the transmission fluid. But nonetheless, that's what ZF decided to do. Before you do go pulling your plug and checking your transmission fluid, make sure you try to get as little contaminants in the fluid and make sure um, you kind of know what you're doing. I feel like, again, the reason why ZF has such a complex um, procedure to check the level and why they have sealed the unit is because most likely uh, the 8-speed transmission, the ZF 8-speed transmission, is probably very sensitive to the level and it needs a very exact transmission fluid level, as well as being very sensitive to external components like dust and dirt. So that's my fair warning and I would advise you guys to go watch that video I put down below with the full explanation of how to properly check your transmission fluid level. Um, that way you can make your own choice if you want to follow that or just do a much more simple method like I explained. Either way, that is why you will not find a dipstick under the hood because there isn't one. <laughs> Anyways guys, that's gonna be it for me. Just a nice short little video. Something I found pretty interesting and I thought I'd make a video about it because I'm sure quite a few of you guys um, have run into this problem or are going to run into the problem of trying to find your transmission dipstick. Um, so hopefully this helps a little bit. And if you did like the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Helps me out, helps the channel out. And lastly, if you like stuff like this, if you wanna see me, towing with this truck up some big mountains and me doing some off-road stuff with this truck maybe even think about subscribing we'd love to have you on board um, with lots more cool stuff to come anyways enough of me we'll see you on the next freaking video guys